Hey John, how's it going? This is Holden. I said in the Facebook group I was going to send you over a video and in this video I just want to show you three things you can do to really increase the traffic to your business, get some more customers in the door and beat out your competition online. You know, in today's day and age, everybody is is looking for they want what they want on Google, right? And if you cannot get found in the Google search results, then a lot of times you're just having a hard time getting found. And a lot of times the only hesitation I see that business owners have to hiring someone for this sort of thing is they just don't really know who the experts are and who they're not. So I found out by giving out this free plan of attack, you know, these three things that you can use and implement yourself today. It's really resulted in a lot of business owners just coming back to me and saying, hey, Holden, I could really use your help. So if by the end of this video, you feel like I've got some value and you want to chat, shoot me a message and we can talk some more. If not, that's totally fine. I just ask that you please do implement these three things because they definitely will help your business out and get you some more traffic. All right. So let's jump right in. I got your website up right here. I see that you have two of these websites, one for uh, Cincinnati and one for uh, Louisville. So I'm just going to take a look at the, the Louisville one right now um, and we'll, we'll go from there. So the first thing that Google really looks at when it comes to optimization is, um, is, is content. They like to see about 1,500 words of content on your homepage alone, right? And this is a free tool you can pick up. It's called SEO Quake. This is uh, just pull some metrics off of your, your website. It shows me you got just under 1,000 words on your homepage. Uh, this guy over here, he's your top competitor. He's the first guy that pops into the organic search results when I type in window replacement in your area. And his SEO quick is showing me that he's got 1,361 words. So you can see why he's beating you out just for that specifically. Uh, he's got about 300, 400 words more than you. And like I said, Google likes to see about 1,500 on your homepage just for optimization. Now the next thing I wanna to talk to you about is keywords. And that's what people are searching for in this search bar up here. Any of the services you provide, window replacement, uh, door replacement, anything like that. Those are the words that people are searching for. You need to include those into the content on your homepage, right? Um, that Google likes to match what people are searching for with the most relevant content out there. And if that stuff is not on your homepage, then they're just going to bypass you and go to the next guy. And you can actually see in SEO Quake what keywords you have and uh, take a look at your competitor and see what keywords they have as well. And you can add those in. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is this right here. This is called the Local Map Pack. And this is how you get found locally in your area when people search for, you know, Kentucky or Louisville or, or near me or by me, right? Uh, and the way you get into this map pack is by getting your name, address, and phone number out there as many times as possible into as many directories as possible. That's things like Yellow Pages and Facebook and Yelp. And if your competition has, has uh, 50 of these citations or directories out there, make sure you're getting 150. That way you can just blow them out of the water and you can sit up here at the top and not have to worry about getting bumped off the bottom uh, and not being seen and getting found locally at all. The next thing is this area right here. Like I said, this is the organic area. Uh, this was the top guy here. And uh, the way you get up into this organic area, right, is by getting viewing Google itself like a popularity contest. There's all these things called uh, backlinks that are kind of like votes of confidence or votes of popularity. And the more these links going from one website to another, uh, the more popular that website seems. So if you have a lot of links from different websites, you know, pointing in your direction to your website, uh, Google will start seeing that you're a lot more popular. There's a lot of relevance to your website and they'll start boosting you up in this organic area, right? Because nobody's going down to where the ads are and they're definitely not going to the second, third, fourth, fifth page of Google. That might as well really be the moon, honestly. Um, but not all backlinks are created equal. You don't want to go out getting links from websites that have nothing to do with window or door replacement, right? You don't want to go to a pizza shop and get a link from there. Google will recognize that there's, uh, there's nothing between the two. There's no correlation and they'll, they'll deduct you points for that. This is the last thing I'm going to show you over here. This is a tool I pay about $1,000 a month for. It's called Ahrefs, and it buys data directly from Google. And it's not perfect, but it gives me a pretty good insight of what's going on with your website. And it shows me right now that your website is getting found organically um, zero times a month. So people are not finding your, your website through search traffic, right? Uh, that you have 36 keywords on your website that people do search for, but they're just not finding your page because of where it's located on, on Google, right? And then also you have seven of those websites linking back to your website only or 24 times, right? So power only transfers from one website uh, for one link. So even though you have 24 links coming from these seven websites, you've only got power transferring about uh, seven times. So that's kind of low. This over here is, is showing me your URL rank and your domain rank. Now this is basically the quantity of the links that you have. And this over here is the quality of the links that you have. So right now it's showing NA might mean that your quality links, you don't have any quality links. Um, you just have a few, maybe there's citations or directories like we were talking about earlier. But just to reiterate, the three things I want you to take a look at are making sure that you're getting at least 1,500 words of content on your homepage 
And then adding in those keywords that people are searching for in the search bar, right? You know, things like window replacement or window replacement near me, and you can see that stuff on SEO Quake. And additionally, uh, to get into this local map pack, I want you to get your name, address, and phone number out there as many times as possible in as many directories as possible. That's things like yellow pages. And then finally, if you want to get in this organic area, make sure you're getting those quality backlinks and make sure that they're relevant to your industry so you can boost, boost up this domain rank. Um, I hope this was informative for you. And like I said, if you want to chat some more, shoot me a message. We can definitely talk. And if not, I, I just ask that you do utilize these things. And please, if you could, I'd appreciate it if you send me a message back or an email and just let me know what you thought of the video. All right. Thanks a lot, John. Have a good one.